I'm Peter Young, I'm the CAP Specialist in the Irish Farmers Journal. We're here today in West Roscommon in Ballinlock on the farm of Sean Finan to look at how the CAP reform is encouraging more young farmers into agriculture. Sean, tell me about CAP and how it benefits consumers. The Common Agricultural Policy is a EU policy which uh, provides farmers with payments uh, in return for safe, secure, quality, traceable food. And CAP in different forms has been around for 50 years. It's continued to evolve. I mean, CAP since 2013, it's been very positive for young farmers. Yes, very positive for young farmers. The Common Agricultural Policy for the first time contains young farmer measures. These measures are very important because they ensure that more young farmers enter the industry and can avail of a top-up on their single farm payment or the, their basic payment. This top-up is a 25% uh, top-up on the payment. It is resulting in more young farmers entering the industry. The young farmer top-up is very innovative because it gives a top-up for five years and then the money goes back into the pot for the next generation of young farmers coming on. So they don't get to keep it forever, but they get to use it for five years when they're starting off. So you can get the top up to a maximum of 50 hectares. So I mean, there is a maximum to it, but it's a good bit of money for a young farmer starting off. Yes, in the first five years of farming, a young farmer can avail of the single farm payment top up. That's very important because in the first five years of agriculture or farming, sometimes it's difficult to get established in the industry Having a top up for five years allows young farmers just to get that step up to grow and drive forward their business. To qualify uh, to be a young farmer for the Common Agricultural Policy Young Farmer Top Up, you have to be under the age of 40, be in the first five years of farming, and possess an agricultural qualification, a minimum FETAC Level 6 qualification. Uh, you have to be involved in the running and operation of the farm and the day to day decision making around the farm business. And it's not just something about the young farmer top-ups, there's also priority access under the National Reserve and also benefits under Pillar 2, the rural development element of the cap reform. The National Reserve allows young farmers who have no entitlements, um, no payments, to uh, get payment under the cap. Uh, and also it's very important for young farmers who have a small payment to bring them up to the, the national average. Sean, why has the EU focused on young farmers in this cap reform? In the past, uh, here in Ireland, and indeed across the EU, 6% of farmers uh, were under the age of 35. Thankfully, this policy has resulted in more young farmers entering the industry. So that is, is very beneficial for the industry because it brings in new blood. It brings in young people who are innovative, these farmers are going to be the farmers of the future. They're going to produce the food for the consumer for the future. The population of the world is increasing, so there is going to be an increasing demand for safe, traceable, quality food which the consumer wants.